تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آرس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی اسما حفیظ فرسٹ ہیڈ لائنس کرونا وائرس ہیز کلیمڈ ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ایٹین مور لائف ود فائیو تھاؤزینڈ تھری ہنڈریڈ کیسز ڈیورنگ دا لاسٹ ٹوینٹی فور آرس Pakistan and Russia have agreed to take forward important bilateral agenda and close cooperation in the regional context. <music> Chairman China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Authority says CPAC will boost foreign investment leading to prosperity in the region. <music> Pakistan has lodged strong protest with India over continuous ceasefire violations by its forces along line of control. And now the news in detail. 5,358 new coronavirus cases have surfaced in the country over the last 24 hours, taking the total tally to 1,60,118. The death toll from the virus stands at 3,093 with 118 deaths reported over the last 24 hours. 31,500 corona tests were carried out during this period. 59,215 patients have so far recovered from the disease. The number of coronavirus infection cases across the world has surpassed over 8.3 million, while the pandemic has so far claimed more than 4,50,000 lives. The United States stops with over 2.2 million cases and more than 1,19,000 deaths. Pakistan and Russia have agreed to take forward the important bilateral agenda and close cooperation in the regional context. In a telephonic conversation with Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi underlined that Pakistan considers Russia an important partner and desires to forge a long-term and multidimensional partnership with Russia. The two foreign ministers discussed matters of mutual interest, including the COVID-19 pandemic cooperation at the multilateral forum, prospects of enhanced bilateral cooperation and regional issues. In context of occupied Kashmir, Shah Mahmood Qureshi shared deep concern over the continuing double lockdown as well as the intensification of military crackdown by Indian occupation forces and attempts to change the demographic structure of the occupied territory. He underlined the importance of urgent steps to address the grave situation. Chairman China Pakistan Economic Corridor Authority Lieutenant General retired Asim Salim Bajwa says the second phase of CPAC will help revamp the basic infrastructure of the country Addressing an agreement signing ceremony between CPAC authority and Chinese companies in Texla today he said the phase 2 of the mega project has been started which will provide further investment opportunities to foreign investors in special economic zones The chairman CPAC authority said the agreement will boost foreign investment in the mega project leading to prosperity in the region. China Pakistan economic corridor is a reflection of our iron brotherhood and also a reflection of the desire of both leaderships ever since our creations to translate our warm relationship into economic integration and mutual benefits. and we hope that it will bring prosperity for the people of pakistan the government has decided to open taftan border 7 days a week for trade a notification to this effect has been issued by the ministry of interior the notification says standard operating procedures and guidelines will be ensured during trade activities Indian charge the affairs was summoned to foreign office today to register Pakistan's strong protest over the ceasefire violations by the Indian occupation forces along the line of control. In a statement foreign office spokesperson Aisha Farooqi said four innocent civilians embraced martyrdom while another was injured in indiscriminate and unprovoked firing by the Indian occupation forces in Baksar and Nakyal sectors of the LOC yesterday. At the United Nations, Pakistan says India's elections to the UN Security Council as a non-permanent member will not in any way affect the status of Kashmir dispute. Talking to APP, Pakistan's permanent representative to United Nations, Munir Akram, said Kashmir dispute remains firmly on the agenda of 15-member body and which must be resolved on the basis of its resolutions. 
In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one youth in Pompur area of Pulwama district today. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official.